Okay, this is going to be a fun question. As we can see, we have a differential equation on the board, right? However, we don't know what m of x, y is. And our goal is to figure out the general form for m of x, y, so that we can create an exact equation right here. Hmm, so how can we do that? Well, think back to the fundamental. If you want to have exact equation, that means we have to talk about the total differential, right? We must have function and we call that to be capital F. So that this right here in front of the dx, it represents the partial of that function f with respect to x. And likewise, this right here represents the partial of f with respect to y. And to ensure we do have that capital F, we have to make sure the mixed partials are the same. That means this was the partial with respect to x already. Now, if I take the partial with respect to y of m of x, y, and let me just put this down right here. This must be the same as when we take the partial with respect to x, because this was with respect to y earlier. Partial with respect to x of this, secant square y minus x over y. This is what we must have, right? And now, why don't we just do some partial derivative? For example, on the right hand side, we can totally do this, isn't it? We know the expression here, x is the variable, y is the constant, secant square y is just going to be <laughs> 0. And here we have x to the first power on the numerator. When we differentiate this right here with respect to x, we get what? We get negative 1 over y only. That's it, right? Just think about this real quick. If you want to take the derivative of uh, negative x over 5, you get what? This is just negative 1 fifth, isn't it? Same idea right here, okay? Y is the constant. Anyways, let's look at the left hand side. We have the partial of y, and this is just m. Let me put down m right here. I need to figure out m. Well, if you differentiate m with respect to y, you end up with negative 1 over y. Well, we just have to integrate both sides with respect to y. So I put down dy on both sides for you guys. So right here, let's still put down xy to emphasize. Anyways. So on the left hand side, we have m of xy. It's a function in terms of x and y, right? And this is going to give us Okay, integrate negative 1 over y in the y world. This is going to give us negative ln absolute value of y. That's it. However, we have to put on the constant now. In the y world, x is the constant. m is a function in terms of both x and y. So we have to add a function in terms of x. So right here, let me put down f of x. You can write down g of x or h of x, whatever, but you must write down a function in terms of just x. I don't know what this is. It can be tangent x, it can be e to the x squared, I don't know, but it's a function in terms of just x right here. And if you differentiate this with respect to y, you get back negative 1 over y. Anyways, tell me what the function is that you want to use for little f of x, and you can create an m of x, y, Put it there, and you will have a differential equation that's exact.